Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my what I got for Christmas video and honestly I didn't ex I didn't like think that I got a whole lot for Christmas until I collected it all and then like wow to this year I got a lot of things and I'm super grateful for everything so let me just get started first with the things that my dad got me. So my dad and I are very much kindred souls and so a lot of the things that he got me are like fandom related because we're both um, into Star Wars, into Star Trek, into Firefly, which is where these little guys come in. Now you might be thinking this is a really weird Christmas gift and you're not wrong. But if you turn them on, and if you've seen the TV series Firefly, which I highly recommend, uh, you might understand the references. Yes. Yes. This is a fertile land and we will thrive. We will rule over all this land. We will call it this land. I think we should call it your grave. And basically they just read lines from the TV series Firefly and it is it's so funny. I thought that this was hilarious. I love Firefly and these are really funny and <laughs> I will definitely put them on my collectibles shelf so I am very thankful for that. The next thing he got me was a, kind of like a hand-me-down from uh, one of my dad's work friends, saw this at like a garage sale, got it, gave it to him. He already has one, I think was what the deal is. So he gave it to me and it is a ornament of the Star Trek Next Generation Enterprise, which specifically is the Enterprise that I know and love the best. I grew up watching The Next Generation with my dad, so that is my favorite series of Star Trek, and so this was very, very awesome for me to receive. It also lights up, but I don't know if my tree has an adapter that will plug in. We'll see. The next thing my dad got me was <laughs> this book. This is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. Holly Black is one of my all-time favorite authors and I really enjoyed this book. I have a review of it on Goodreads and I will try to remember to link it down below but um, I'll try and link my Goodreads profile down below in general so you can ch go ahead and check it out if you really like book reviews. I have a lot of them on there uh, but this is a great book and I am very very happy to have it. The next thing my dad got me is a scarf, specifically a Star Trek scarf and this thing is so soft and cuddly and warm and fuzzy that I really honestly should have worn it today. It is currently snowing but I forgot so I'm gonna remove the tags and go put it right by my stuff. And to go along with that is this giant throw blanket, which I'm not going to unroll because it'll just destroy my whole delicate setup that I have here. But specifically, this is a Lieutenant Commander Data's jacket, and he is my favorite Star Trek character person, and I love him, and I love this blanket, and I'm freezing, and I want to cuddle it all day. So also from my dad and my stepmom, they got me this calendar, it's a Chick-fil-A calendar, and on the back is like a card thingy, and you get a free item every month. I, I don't know, I've never heard of this before, but they thought it was a great opportunity to get it for me because there are now Chick-fil-A's in Illinois where I live, so I will probably use it at some point if I remember. So I have this Chick-fil-A calendar, very interesting gift, but it was for a fundraiser, so they got one. Uh, I also got this adorable little Reese's snowman from um, my stepmom's side of the family, and I 
got um, money and cards from them as well. From my sister and her fiance, I got a Visa or MasterCard cre uh, gift card. Very much appreciated. I am, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I might buy food as usual. So next I'm going to move on to things that my best friend got me. Tiffany uh, is also here on YouTube. I will link her down below. She completely surprised me with a few things. She got me this panda mug slash sugar bowl. I'm not sure but it's a little panda and it's got a little lid to it and it came with a nice little spoon. And I'm like, do you use this to like stir your tea? Do you use it to scoop out the sugar? I don't know, but I like that the lid has a nice little notch in it to allow for that spoon. It's super cute. And the back, it says pandas like eating bamboo. As if you wouldn't know that already. I love it. I collect panda things. As you can tell, I've got a giant panda back there, and I've got a panda lamp right there, and there are other panda things around, I promise. But also with the panda theme, she got me this scarf, which is covered in pandas, and I am sort of obsessed with it. Like, I am not the best scarf wearer. I always feel really awkward in scarves, but I, uh, my, I guess I should uh, also mention that my other best friend got me an R2, not an R2D2, a BB-8 Star Wars scarf, and I have been wearing that thing like nonstop. I am so sorry I didn't grab it, but Emmy, thank you for that. I love it. Tiffany, thank you for this. I love it. And now let's move into my mom. All right, so my mom got me some really interesting thingamajiggers. She got me the um, Ulta brand aromatherapy shower tablets. I believe I touched, I, I, yes, I know I touched on this in my gift guide. She watched my gift guide and got me some of the things I talked about, which I was just like, you watched my videos. And then I felt really awkward, but she watched my videos. She got me these tablets. I'm really excited to try them out. Never tried the shower tablets, as I might have already mentioned, but I just really want to. I like that there's a eucalyptus and sage scent, which is more of a like morning shower, wake you up smell. And then the other one is lavender and berries, which is more of a calming, relaxing nighttime shower scent. So I'll use these at the appropriate times. So. She got me a brush set, which I did mention in my gift guide as getting brushes for someone is something they'll really appreciate because they might not buy brushes for themselves and I really appreciate it. Um, it's an Eco Tools set and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six brushes and a holder, which is awesome because like I need a billion brush holders and they just look really nice and fluffy and I like that there is a variety of brushes. There's a few eye brushes and then a few face brushes. I just, I thought that this was really sweet and I'm definitely going to use them. Thank you, mom. She also got me a puzzle. We both share a love of puzzles and I just tend to do mine digitally. I have a Microsoft puzzle app game thing that I like, <laughs> I go through phases of playing nothing but this puzzle game and then like I don't touch it for three years but here's a puzzle I can do in real life and I am quite excited for it it looks difficult but it's only 500 pieces but they're irregularly shaped pieces and I have another puzzle with irregularly shaped pieces and it is like the worst thing that's ever happened to me it's a panda so I was like gonna do the puzzle and then like frame it could not figure out how to do this panda puzzle like at all hopefully this is easier this is fewer pieces my mom has get, been getting me andy's candies for christmas for like ever so she got me these she also got me 
some Rosanna Pancina sprinkles, which I am super excited for. Recently, the whole Rosanna Pancino line was on sale, or clearance technically, at Walmart, so I bought everything. And so I already do have some of these crystal gem sprinkles, but I like them a lot, so I'm going to use more of them, and I'm super excited to play with these and try them and eat them, basically. Just eat them like candy. They are candy. And the, yeah, the last thing my mom got me is this bookmark. This is a Ray bookmark. I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek. I like a lot of things. And I love, like, nice bookmarks like this. So, thanks, mommy. Next, from my brother, I already took it out of the packaging, but he got me an amiibo, and this is from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't remember the name of this character because I haven't encountered them yet in the game, but he got me this amiibo, and I have a ton of amiibos, but I didn't have this one, so I really appreciated it. Thank you, brother of mine. And finally, what my boyfriend got me, which... He went all out. He he killed it. I, I'm just gonna say he killed it. Uh, the first thing he got me is a Wii game. This is Animal Crossing City Folk. I don't have this game. I was completely surprised to get it. I have been obsessed with Animal Crossing recently. I low-key love it. Um, and I don't have this game and I, I've always kind of wanted to play it. So he also got me two Monopoly games. I have said, I recently said to him that I kind of want to collect Monopolies. We have how many? Like three or four? We have electronic banking. I swear we have an, oh, we have uh, millionaire, electronic banking, and now Doctor Who, which was brand new. He got these at Half Price Books. But this one was brand new, which is awesome, um, and I'm excited. <laughs> and then he also got me this Monopoly, which is a old retro Disney game. This is, I don't know how old this is, but like if you open it and smell it, it smells old. I'm looking for the year on it. from 2001 but it has an old like feel to it it has a whole bunch of Disney characters and themed spaces and all this stuff and it's in a nice metal tin it's really awesome and totally not what I was expecting at all so this was really cool but then he went on Amazon and did some shopping for me and he got um, these four things and they all came in these like adorable, I don't know if you've ever gotten things gift wrapped on Amazon, but they came in these little like drawstring bags. They were so cute and adorable. I'm totally going to be keeping these bags to reuse them because they are, they're just gorgeous. They're nice quality. But the first thing he got was this Rosanna Pancino, the cake testers. I haven't found these in any Walmart, which is only where I've been to find her baking line. So he did get me two of her items, and this is the half apron, which I thought was so cute. I love this little half apron and the cake testers, and I haven't found these in any Walmart yet. And like every time we would go to Walmart and we were looking in the clearance aisle, I was like, oh, should we look for the apron? Is the apron here? And then we would be in the baking aisle, and I'd be like, is the apron here? Is there anything Rosanna Pancino left? But there wasn't. So now I have the apron, and the cake testers were just adorable, and I just thought, I, I don't have any cake testers or anything. I just use, like, knives or toothpicks, but I rarely have toothpicks. So now I have nice reusable ones also. Then the next thing he got me is this A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book. And I will admit, I've only read the first one and half of the second one. And this one covers the first three books. Yeah. And, but like the images are just so 
beautiful and like I just wanted it because I, I, I do want to color it but I just thought it was just so beautiful and I liked the art a lot <laughs> so I kind of wanted to keep it like an art book don't tell him Shh. and the last thing he got me which is possibly my favorite item of Christmas this year is this this is a personal library kit and if you don't know I am a librarian I work at two libraries actually now and so I know about this stuff and I love this stuff and basically my bookshelf is t my bookshelf is sorted by author last name uh, like you would find in a library. Um, I have so many times considered doing it by color. I love the way that bookshelves look when the books are in color order. I think it's adorable, but it's a lot of work and then it'd all be out of order and I don't like that. So I, so he got me these library, uh, like pockets and then like checkout cards and it comes with like a checkout stamp and a pencil and ink and I just thought that was adorable. The only downside is that this only comes with 20 and uh, if you've seen my bookshelf which you have in my earlier videos I used to film in front of my bookshelf I easily have like 20 books on one single shelf and I have two bookcases with four shelves each so maybe maybe this would cover like two let me count So that is everything that I got this year for Christmas. I am super happy, super grateful, and it really just, you know, shows me how much people care about me, which I always need that reminder. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you got everything you ever wanted and more. Hopefully you got some nice surprises or just what you asked for. However people like to do their gifting, I like a mixture of things that I ask for and surprises, mostly things I ask for. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time with a brand new video, possibly next year with a brand new video. Actually, it will be next year with a brand new video. I will not make any more promises for this year. <laughs>